Hey all, this is AJ from Disney Food Blog and today we're talking about our top three table service restaurants in Magic Kingdom. So let's get started. So a table service restaurant basically means a sit down restaurant. Disney World offers counter service restaurants, which are fast food and table service restaurants, which are sit down. And let's get into our top three in the Magic Kingdom. And some of you might be surprised. The first one I'm gonna mention is the Plaza. And I know, I know you thought I was gonna go over to be our guest first, but I'm not, I'm gonna to go to the Plaza. The Plaza, which is just off of Main Street USA around the corner from the Plaza ice cream parlor. This little tiny restaurant, and it is quite small and you could absolutely miss it if you're not looking for it, offers really delicious food. And we're talking very much comfort food here. Meatloaf and sandwiches and salads and milkshakes and ice cream. The kind of stuff that you expect to find in Disney World, but they do a very good job with it. And the great thing about the Plaza also is that it is really kind of underpriced. You're gonna get a lot of great meals there for under $20 and they are absolutely delicious meals. The meatloaf there is beyond fantastic. I can highly, highly, I'm not even a big meatloaf girl, but it is very, very good there. They have a lot of great salads as well. And the thing we really love there also are the brand new loaded Plaza fries, which remind us a lot of Figaro fries. If you guys remember Figaro fries from Pinocchio Village House back in the day. So the loaded Plaza fries will give you cheese and it's plastic cheese too, which we love. Plastic cheese and tomatoes, ranch dressing, all of that good stuff, all piled on top, yummy, yummy plaza fries. So head over there if you can. I think at this point, they only take advanced dining reservations at 11 o'clock and starting at 12 o'clock, it's all walk up and that could change because you know those things are changing up right now in Disney World, but um, it's a great restaurant to try, especially if you don't have an advanced dining reservation or if you're looking for something that's not over the top on price if you don't have the dining plan. Next up, I'm gonna have our Liberty Tree Tavern and Liberty Tree Tavern Tavern is in uh, Liberty Square and this restaurant is themed to basically the Revolutionary War time period which makes sense in Liberty Square. You've got seven different rooms that are themed to different historical figures like Ben Franklin and George Washington and John Paul Jones. So you can't really choose which room you're seated in. I guess you can request a particular room when you check in, but it's definitely fun to look at all the decor elements, look around and, and see what they've pulled out. For example, you can see a kite in the Ben Franklin room and you can even find George Washington's wooden teeth in the George Washington room. Liberty Tree Tavern is a la carte for lunch and it is family style for dinner. So let's start with dinner. At Liberty Tree Tavern, you're gonna be served family style, essentially a Thanksgiving dinner. So there's going to be turkey, there's gonna be great macaroni and cheese, vegetables. FYI, if you don't get the cranberry sauce, you can request it. It is always in the kitchen and you can request it. That's a little tip that a lot of people don't know about. And the dessert here has been changed to the ooey gooey toffee cake, which has always been our favorite at Liberty Tree Tavern. It was only available at lunch for a very long time and now they finally brought it in as the included in your meal price dessert for dinner and we're so jazzed about that because it's amazing and if you go for lunch lunch is still a highly recommended meal we love it there for lunch lots of great choices including a patriot's platter where you get basically thanksgiving dinner but not all you can eat it's just a single platter of thanksgiving dinner for a single person the pasta there is good the sandwiches are good the pot roast is wonderful it went off the menu for a little while now it's back on we're hoping it'll stay really really good meal there okay next up is be our guest restaurant of course how could we not say that be our guest is one of our favorites in the magic kingdom this is the one that you really do have to book 180 days in advance it's 6 a.m. It's very, very hard to get a reservation here for dinner. Breakfast and lunch are counter service, but still do take advanced dining reservations. Dinner here is wonderful. It's a French inspired meal. And this is uh, this was the first place where you could get alcohol at the Magic Kingdom. They have a French inspired alcohol menu as well, which includes some French beers, Belgian beers, French wines, etc. And so at Be Our Guest for dinner, you're gonna get things like steak and chicken. There's a, there's a wonderful scallop pasta dish on the menu at the moment and it's it's really really good food the only critiques we've really heard are that it's too salty which i don't know i love salty food so to me that's never been too salty <laughs> Of course, for dessert, you can try the gray stuff. It, it comes in different, in different way. I think right now it's a tart. 
sometimes it's a brownie. They serve it in different ways and it has little seasonal touches for the different holidays. They also have other cupcakes for dessert. So dessert here is the only thing that I would say is underwhelming. They have the same desserts for lunch and dinner, except for that gray stuff changes up a little bit at dinner. So dessert here, if you're not on the dining plan and you don't get it as part of your dining plan, you may skip it and run over to uh, you know, someplace else, get a better dessert someplace else. Now, those are my top three. So the Plaza Liberty Tree Tavern and be our guest. And I know you're thinking, what about Skipper Canteen? What about Crystal Palace? They're good restaurants. They're, I'm not gonna, they're great restaurants, but these are my top three. And there's really, you really can't go wrong in Magic Kingdom with table service. But I would say these are the three that I think give you the most value for your dollar. They're just highly recommended food wise as well. I do have an honorable mention and that is Cinderella's Royal Table. For those of you who have never been to Disney World, have never been to the Magic Kingdom, Cinderella's Royal Table is the restaurant that is located in the castle. So it's in Cinderella Castle and it's just very interesting to say you got to head up into the castle and go up into the restaurant there and dine with the princesses because there are princesses there, including Cinderella, of course. The food there is nothing to write home about really. It's it's decent. It's probably not worth the price that you're going to pay. And so if you want to do the two table service credit thing and eat there, that's probably your best bet. But if you've never been, I think everyone should eat there once and just get the experience of dining in the castle and then you don't ever have to go back but going once is probably worth it I would say so that's my honorable mention it's always fun to go inside the castle especially if you have a little princess of your own so those are our top three in the Magic Kingdom for table service and we'd love to hear your thoughts so please leave a comment let me know if those are your top three or if you have other favorites and why let me know why you love what you love because I'm always open to going and trying new menu items that I haven't had before so please let me know what you like and give us a like and subscribe to the channel, please. We're doing our best to, to give you awesome videos and really good quality content. So we hope you're enjoying it as we keep chugging along. Thanks a lot for Disney food blog. This is AJ and we'll see you in the next video.